Welcome back to Good Morning Lawland on Friday Feels. We're talking about dating, love, and relationships. And we have LA's premier divorcee optimization. Do we? We've got a few different titles here. We've got a dating <laughs> expert and we've got a divorcee expert. Yes. So we're yes. going to get deep on this one, right? Yes. So Daniela Bloom is in the house and um, we're excited to talk a little bit about love dating, yes. and divorcee. So. There's a lot to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, how did you become an expert in dating and divorce? Well, you know, I have been working for two decades with men and women and about dating optimization. Even when Online dating was the progressive thing to do 15 years ago. How you date, how you choose pictures, how you describe yourself speaks volumes of the subliminal message you're, huh. you're sending out. And so I have brought marriages together for the last few decades and being in my own marriage of 16 years and then stepping off the marriage platform back into the dating world, the more things change, the more things stay the same. So I have a lot of content to pull from. So, oh, so what do you yeah. think has stayed the same in this digital world of dating? You know, at the end of the day, women want to be pursued and men want to pursue. And when you come out of a toxic relationship, you forget what that feels like. So I look at dating like a gym, like you're exercising new muscles again. Women are remembering what it's like to feel cherished, to feel spontaneous, to feel alive. Men are back into their empowered masculine where they're being pursued. They're looked at as charming. They're given respect again. So people put so much pressure into dating and finding the one right away. It's about exercising those muscles again so you can feel Daniela, the good energy. Daniela, you make dating, though, in L.A. sound way better than it actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the majority of people, they're going to the gym, they're feeling great again. Let's be real, though. Yeah. Most people in their divorce times aren't feeling that way. Most single people that I know are not feeling fabulous in their yeah. dating life. Well, it's so funny because if you take someone who's been professionally dating for two decades, like the 40-year-old who's never been married right. versus the 40-year-old who get got out of a long-term marriage, one, it's like a kid in a candy store. Two is like, everyone lies, everyone's jaded, I'm staying home. <laughs> Very <laughs> black and white thinking. Completely different energies. I so, 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 how, okay, so let's get into this. So how can yeah. we, and I also want to recognize that you are an LMFT, marriage, and mar what is it? marriage, I can't talk. A shrink Lace. therapist. Yeah. You're a shrink. Yes, but, okay. but, law, but law of attraction coach too. Like I, I have both worlds. I have the professional background as a psychotherapist. But the mindset, the chutzpah, the accountability Thank you. of it's a all coach. the same, right? Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, so let's talk about optimizing this whole thing. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So what do so we do? I really, I need to just tell America this. 70% um, of, of people are doing this wrong on their profile. The first picture should be looking straight at the camera and smiling. I know, groundbreaking, right? <laughs> groundbreaking here. What you see is what you get. And so many people have these pictures of posers. They have alcohol. They have two girls. They have yeah, a no. dog. They have a car. No, no. Uh -uh. I mean, can their we just... Their dog licking their face. Sorry. I just, I just like, I don't know when your you dog. When you choose yeah. a simple picture where it's clear and you're looking straight at the camera and smiling, basically the subliminal message is, what you see is what you get. Mm. Don't you want that back in a partner? Or do you want someone else you're going to attract back who's a poser, who is, is about surface and not about depth, right? And you also get an immediate connection, right? Yes. Right. But if someone is going to intuitively put that picture on there, it means they're intuitively grounded. Mm. If someone is not intuitively doing that, they have blocks. And so it's when people are dating, they're dating and they're sending mixed messages to the universe. Like, where is the one, but all men are assholes? Oh, can I swear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. just okay. Okay. So this is, I think, the most, this is the most important point, and I agree. I think yeah. that working with clients also, it's like they're sending such different messages. Mm -hmm. They're like, I want to find the one, right. I want to find the soulmate, and then they're like, complain the whole time. Exactly. Like, it doesn't, you're not going to, it's not What do you want the level, universe to do? Right? They're going to keep giving you that totally, mixed message completely. back. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do with my clients. It's very easy to match someone today, right? But it's what does it take to have a long term partnership? And sometimes we're stepping our own feet. You got to clear up your energy first because once you are clear and truly in alignment with what you desire, it's not a matter of if, so it's a matter of when. How do you ditch that baggage at the curb? Well, you got to get real. You, you know, you can't just leave one relationship, jump into another one, and think the patterns are not going to continue. Mm -hmm. You know, like I work a lot with divorcees and um, men and women. You know, to every narcissist is the equal codependent. So you can't just leave the narcissist no. and think you're not going to find Thank you. Yeah, yeah so true. And because you're, you know, what makes you fall in love with the narcissist is the charm, is the adoration, and you find that right away. But you, nothing has grown. You still have weak boundaries. You still don't know who you are. It starts with falling in love with yourself first. But some of those, like, let's say the codependent and the narcissist, right? Yeah. 
the narcissist pulls so strong. You're naturally attracted, you're, you're drawn to that. So how do you break that? They say that there are no mistakes in life, just lessons learned. Mm. So as long as you can say, you know what? I take accountability for the fact that I depended on this other person to validate me. I take accountability for the fact that I didn't know how to say no and say what my needs were first. If you cannot take accountability, you're gonna have another practice round. But let's, let's, start, let's talk evolve dating for a minute, yeah. right? We know, like, we know the vicious cycles. Like, we've mm -hmm. all been there. We've seen them. We know. Them. But like, I'm just curious. Like, even for you, Rob, do you find that you want to catch a woman? Because like she said, like this is a typical thing. I, like, I, a woman I'm, a, I'm an oddball. I'm, yeah, I'm very I know, weird. But, like, I don't. So I would say that um, I'm probably an outlier. I don't like to chase anything. Mm -hmm. I don't like to pursue anything. I like it to all come to me. <laughs> I'm very lazy yeah. in that way, right? Like, yeah. you know, and um, I just believe that, uh, and I've just found in my life that everything comes to me. Exactly. That's, that's, we're on the same page yeah. because my whole message is you magnetize to you what you desire. You don't go looking, you don't go chasing. But what I mean by that is, um, I'm sure you have no problem getting attention. <laughs> well, I enjoy people. I very yes. much enjoy people. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but if there's a woman you're truly attracted to, you don't, you don't have an, you, you would probably want to let her know, you know, not, not yeah. overly so, but that's just the nature of the game, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. So what does a person do? Let's say if they're trying to get clear and they're trying to be real, yeah. um, like you said so well, um, where would they start in terms of being real and in terms of just clearing up or cleaning up their vibration yeah. around what they want and how to get it? Well, we start with basics. Yeah. First of all, what is a relationship, you know, today? We don't have a lot of great role models. Millennials are not getting married like they used to. Every nine seconds, someone's divorcing in this country. But see, I think yeah. that's all good. Yeah. I see it as good. I oh. see it as like we're evolving past this thing of this yeah. paradigm I mean, that is really maybe obsolete. I, I agree with you. And there's that's why shows like Red Table Talk with Jada, they, they Jada and well, they don't even call themselves um, married. They call themselves life partners. Mm -hmm. We need to have a new conversation. Because they, mm -hmm. they have maybe an open marriage. Well, I don't know. They don't. <laughs> They don't, don't have an open marriage. Don't know, they don't. They clear that up, but they don't have an open marriage. But they they are talking about like marriage in the way we know it doesn't work anymore. It's, it's like yeah, it yeah. Doesn't even... women are not looking for men for financial stability anymore. Most of them are, you know, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, but but we really want men with open hearts and accountability and and understanding our feelings now. That is where what counts today. And so getting clear on what a relationship is, and um, and what you truly desire, because some people say they want something. And then they really don't want long term. They want high quality short term. Mm. What's wrong with that? Why do relationships have to be one size fits all? Mm. But you got to get clear. You got to get other people's projections and voices out of the way and get back into what you want. Uh, and then we can start from there. I just want some hot, that. steamy sack. Okay, yes, that's that, what I do. What is that? That's the doctor. That's another yes. dating muscle. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Why not? I feel like I'm living my 20s and my 40s because I never dated. I got married so young. I'm having first time experiences at 40 that I never had before and I'm giving myself permission. I'm unapologetically doing me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit, if you can, because I think one of the challenges and opportunities of dating yeah. is really enjoying dating. Like, if you're not yes. going to enjoy dating, I don't know how you're going to exactly. possibly. Exactly. Yeah. How do you track something yeah. when you were like yeah. giving off the negative energy? Yeah. So how can people do that better? Yes. Great question. I always tell my audiences, my clients, show up to each event, whether it's a networking event, whether it's a date, whether it's a family picnic. Open and curious, because a connection is a connection. Yeah. So if you take the weight out, am I going to meet the one tonight? That that's putting you in the place of lack. If you come from a place of I'm open to connecting, let's see where it goes. Yeah. Whether it's social, professional, or romantic, you're open. Yeah, yeah. The most magical things happen when we're open. Yeah. When they happen spontaneously. When we're alive. And I think that I mean I think I mean authentically. I'm joking around, but I mean I think we all want that deep, deep connection with somebody that just is like magical, and your life evolves, and it just makes sense to you know, just grow into bloom into whatever that divine love is. But you know, I don't think you can plan that out. And I think so many people are trying to plan that out. It's yeah. like you just have to be it. It's like wanting to be the you know best. TV show in the world, right? You can't plan for that, but you, you show up every day and you try and do your best. And if it evolves into that, then, mm -hmm. then, then it's meant to be. Just piggybacking off what you were saying in the earlier segment, statistically, arranged marriages have a longer success rate than, than, than infatuation falling in love because they're based on something real. They grow, they take time. And, you know, Hollywood and all these ideas of, 
you know, The Bachelor, just having that connection at the beginning. They say the worst thing to do is marry for infatuation. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly right because a relationship is a moving entity. As we evolve, as things happen, we have children, we have career changes, we have different aspirations, our relationships change. And the only relationships that last are the relationships that continue to grow and adapt. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. It cannot be stolid. Totally agree. I think it's all about finding an extraordinary human being. And, and that goes in so many different levels and it's different for each person what they consider that to be. Yes. But you know, what motivates people and that is what should be something that you look for somebody else. Not necessarily their looks, not necessarily whatever, but what, yeah. what it really drives you in life. Yeah. And if you find something that inspires you, then that, that's the exactly. divine quality. What if that person yeah. is you? <laughs> <laughs> I know we're, we're sitting amongst coaches here. You understand the idea of law of attraction mm -hmm. and like attracts like. So if we're operating at a dim light setting, no matter how great we look on the outside, we're going to attract a dim light setting. If we start operating from a bright light that setting, we're turning our thermostat up. We're going to find another whole bright light person who has their shit together, who can be accountable, who's evolved and done the work. That's what we want. We don't want to keep looking for that codependency. It's a great metaphor. Absolutely. Yep. Danielle, if somebody wants to turn their light yeah. up a little bit, how yeah. can they find and work? My website is daniellabloom.com. That's with two L's and an A, B-L-O-O-M, because it's never too late to bloom where you're planted. Yes. And I do. I do um, dating optimization half-day intensives where we just get in there. We get into the stories of your parents, of your past relationships. You know, you get a little bit schooled on dating today and how to show up. And it's just, it's like a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. well, thank that. you so much. We My appreciate pleasure. your time and your light. Stay tuned. We'll yes. be back tomorrow. Good morning, Wildland.